So today is Sleek Saturday. You know what that means. Makeup tutorial time. I came up with this look using the original Sleek palette, which is the original Eye Divine palette. I had a little bit of trouble, I'm not going to lie. These are all shimmery shadows, so I had to improvise a little bit. But let me show you what the palette looks like. Beautiful palette, absolutely gorgeous, love it. This is my look, this is the look I came up with for this Saturday. If you are interested in learning how to get this look, then please keep on watching. Alright, so I actually already primed my eyes using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm going to need a base for this, so I am going to use MAC Pintily Paint Pot all over my lid. And I do run some of that underneath my eye on the uh, lash line as well. Okay, so we're going to start with this uh, NYX Slide On, Glide On, whatever pencil in green olive. And we're just going to put that on the upper lash line. And go ahead, get that right into the lashes. Then I'm just going to take some normal uh, flat brush. This is just the Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. We're just going to blend that out a bit. Then we're going to run that same color underneath the, the eye. And blend that out. The color we're going to start with is this nice bronzy color. Make sure you tap off the excess because this these eyeshadows are extremely prone to fall out in this in this palette in particular. Gonna tap that wherever you put the green. So I'm just gonna take a blending brush. Any blending brush is fine. You can use the Coastal Sense one. I think this is the Coastal. This is the Mac 217, but the Coastal Sense one is just perfectly fine. And just blend that a little bit right on the edge. Now I'm going to hit this peachy gold, rose goldy color, and we're going to use that as our crease color. I'm going to put that right inside the crease. Now I found this a little problematic for me, this palette, because you guys know that I love to use matte shadows in the crease, and this palette has no matte shadows. So it took a little bit of adapting for me to actually use this palette. I mean, use it by itself. So now I'm just taking that same flash shadow brush that I use from Real Techniques. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this nice olive green. I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and I'm going to tap just a little bit of that right in the center of the lid for a nice green pop right in the middle. To add a little bit more dimension, I went in with bronzy color right here. And we're going to hit a little bit of that in the crease. Just a little bit. I'm going to take a little pencil brush with that, that bronzy color. I'm going to run that underneath the eye. I'm also going to take that same pencil brush, wipe it off clean, get a little bit of this gold color right here, and we're going to highlight the tear duct with that. We're done with that palette for now. Because I need a matte shadow for a highlight, I did go into some MAC shadows with this. I'm going with Blanc Tut by MAC, and we're going to use that as our highlight color. I'm sorry, I could not do a shimmery highlight with this look. I just couldn't. I can't do it. I don't have the power. And then just a little bit of bamboo, which is right here. Just take a little bit of bamboo and then blend the edge. Alright, so the shadow is done. You're just going to add a generous helping of your favorite mascara. I just got this new mascara from Hot Look. Uh, this is called What's Your Type of the Bomb. And I put a whole bunch of coats of that on. It seems to be really volumizing, so let's try that out, huh? If you get any mascara on your upper lid, don't even worry about it. You can always smudge that off later. And for the lower lashes, we're going to go with my trusty old Clinique bottom lash, which is my fave. Okay, so that is the eyes done. I'm going to zoom out and we are going to finish the rest of the face. I did get a little bit of fallout, so I'm going to clean up. That's why I did not put on any concealer. So we're just going to clean up any fallout I got with 
my instant age rewind. I'm going to set my face and my under eyes with my MAC Care Blend Pressed Powder Studio Care Blend with this. Just gonna set those under eyes. To contour my face real quick using my sleek face form palette I'm gonna use the contour color just do a little bit of light contouring we're not gonna do a whole lot I'm using the real techniques contour brush just a little bit up here not a whole lot of course down my jawline I'd love to get a jawline so Let's contour the hell out of that jawline, huh? I'm going to use the blush in the palette as well. This is such a beautiful corally shade. It's got a lovely gold undertone. So it goes right along with this look. So just like that. I've been getting into using stippling brushes a lot lately for using my blush because I feel like it doesn't overdo it on the blush. And I really have been loving using it. Because this blush has a glow to it, you don't actually have to add a highlight, but I'm going to. Okay, I'm going to make sure all that's blended. And I'm going to take the highlight color in the palette as well. Just put a little bit on my Bare Minerals brush from 8 jillion years ago. And we're going to add just a nice little highlight, just like that. See, it gives a nice little glow to the face. Oh, what's that? What are you, and how did you get on my face? It just gives a beautiful glow. I love that. I'm gonna bring a little bit up on the temple too, actually. A little bit right here. I don't normally do that, but I'm doing it today. Right there too. What's that? Oh, and how about a little bit right there? Make sure to blend that all in so everything looks seamless. This is the time for your setting spray. I'm gonna use Urban Decay All Nighter. Okay, just let that dry. Make sure you don't have to touch your face while that's drying. I think you have a, a few different options for lipstick with this look. I'm going to actually show you two. This is Japanese Maple. This is a cream sheen. It's just a little bit darker than oh, Creme de Nude. See, I think this color looks lovely. It's, it's a great nude color. You could throw a nice gloss over it, and I think it would look beautiful. I think I'm actually going to go for like more of a touch of color today, so I'm going to try something else for you. This is my other newest addition from MAC. This is Coral Bliss, and I think this would look really nice with this as well. Now this color is very, very sheer, and I think it adds just like a little bit of warmth to the face, and I really, really love it. So I think I like the Coral Bliss. Tell me in the comment section below and let me know which color you like. This is it, this is the finished look. I'm actually going to go ahead, do my hair, <laughs> finish up the rest of my getting ready because my hair is up right now, as you guys can see. That's it, you guys. I hope you like this look. This is using the original Sleek Eye Divine palette. I did have to bring in some MAC shadows because, like I said, I need my matte colors on the, on the highlight. I just did. So I hope you guys like this look. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.